Hi friends, welcome back to my kitchen. I've got a really fun and easy no-bake snack that I'm gonna show you today. Um, it's pretty healthy, it's got some peanut butter and bananas protein in there. Um, you can add nuts and seeds and dried fruit. Um, these freeze really well and they will last in your freezer up, up to at least eight weeks and they're just a good go and grab snack um, yeah, for any time, really, and my kids love them. So I'm gonna show you three different ways to do these. I'm gonna start with the base, and then I'm gonna do some add-ins. Um, but you can be creative, you can add in anything that you want um, with anything that you have in your house. So, we're going to start with, I've got two kinds of oats here. You can use either one, but I'm gonna use half and half. I've got the whole grain oats, and then I've got the quick instant oats. Um, I'm going to do a cup of each in each bowl. And then I'm gonna add a cup of the, kind of the quick one minute oats, just for different texture. Really does not matter, one or the other works. Okay. Then to that, I'm going to put in a half a cup of peanut butter in each bowl. You can use almond butter, cashew butter, um, cookie butter. Just know that with cookie butter, it's no longer gluten-free. There's the cookies in there. Um, half a cup of peanut butter in each bowl. The measurements do not have to be exact and I'll show you how to adjust if you need to, if they're too sticky or too dry. But this, this ratio worked out pretty well for me when I made these the other day. Okay. And then, after that, we're going to add three tablespoons of honey. You can substitute maple syrup if you don't have honey. Sweetener, like agave syrup, would work too. And I think carol syrup, corn syrup, would also work. You just need a sweetener in there, like a, a binding sweetener that kind of pulls it all together. Here's one. Okay, just know that you don't have to do all these three bowls. I'm just showing you three different ways. Just whatever you have, just make one big bowl. There we go. Now, you could stop there and just have those three ingredients for your base. Um, but just for a little bit of extra taste, I'm gonna add just a couple drops of vanilla. It's like a quarter to a half a teaspoon. And then I like to add cinnamon, um, not only for flavor, but did, uh, cinnamon is really good for controlling blood sugar. Um, it won't, it's, it's just something you can add to things that will help your blood sugar not drop really low. You know how you get the shakes and I have hypoglycemia, so I get low blood sugar quite often. So the cinnamon in there will help regulate that. Um, now I'm just gonna mix this all up. But again, the vanilla and cinnamon, not necessary. I just like the enhanced flavor. Okay, sometimes I like to get a fork. The fork will kind of get that peanut butter to incorporate it a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Just be prepared to get your hands dirty because this gets a little messy because we're gonna when we incorporate the mix-ins, I'm gonna mix it by hand. It's just so much more effective. Oh, this is a really good kid-friendly one too. Your kids, because there's no cooking involved or baking, totally safe, nothing hot. Um, eventually you're gonna roll these into balls. They love doing that. Yes, much more effective that way. A lot more messy, but a lot more effective. Okay, for the first one, I have a banana 
and some chocolate chips and a little bit of cocoa. Um, you can omit the cocoa, you can omit the banana. Again, anything goes, there's really no wrong, <coughs> no wrong thing to add to these. But I'm gonna slice up this banana. And I'm just gonna mash it up a little bit. Stir this in, okay? So I've got the banana. And I'm just gonna add a little dusting of cocoa powder, just to your taste. If you like extra chocolatey, put more in. And then a couple handfuls, a couple or three or four, whatever you want. And I'm gonna mix that all in. Now the banana adds a lot of extra moisture, so if you feel like it's too sticky to handle, add a few more oats. But I think it's gonna be good because the cocoa adds the dry element in there too. Oh, and it already smells so good. All right, for the second variation, I've got some slivered almonds and some sweet sweetened coconut flakes. So I'm gonna make a coconut almond um, variation here. This one's my personal favorite. Just add a couple handfuls of the coconut, however, however much you want. And I've got some sliced almonds. There we go. And mix that in. Now, both of these elements that I added in were a little dry, so if it's too dry, add another tablespoon of honey if you need to, to bind it and bring it together. So too dry, add honey, too sticky, add some more oats. For the third, I have some chopped pecans. I'm gonna add that. I've got some dried cranberries, and I've got and I've got some dried apricots that I've chopped up. And I'm going to add some flax seeds. And then I'm going to add some chia seeds. Mix that one in. You can add the seeds to all of them if you wanted. You could add nuts to all of them if you wanted. You could do one of these with every last ingredient I have here. Do like an everything protein bite. All right, we're ready for the next step. This is where the kids really like helping. Um, pretty messy, get prepared for that. It's gonna stick to your hands. But I have a baking sheet with some wax paper on here. And all I'm going to do, you can shape these any way you want it. If you wanted to spread them in the pan, and then after they're frozen or set, you can cut them into granola bars. You could totally do that, but today I'm just gonna form some balls and put them on my baking tray. And then again, if, it's, if you feel like it's too dry and it's not coming together, add some honey. This I might need to add a little bit of honey to this one. Oh, another uh, something smart you could do, which I just thought about too late. You can spray your hands with some cooking spray. That's very helpful. But I was in a bit of a rush. Didn't think about that. Uh, yeah, this one. Did I say the coconut almond was my favorite? Because maybe this one is my favorite. I don't know. They're all good. You could just do a peanut butter banana one. That would be really good. Ooh, Nutella. Nutella would be really good in these instead of peanut butter. That's another option. Um, did I already say cookie butter? Yeah, cookie butter. I really want to try some with almond butter. I think that would be really good. Depending on how well you wrap them, this will last in your freezer for quite a long time. If you want to double wrap them in foil and then in plastic, or double the plastic up, 
Um, you can just eat them now if you want, um, but to store them, I'm gonna stick them in the freezer for about 20 minutes until they're solid, and then I'll, I'll show you how to bag them up. All right, my friends, I got these out of the freezer. They are set and ready to store. Um, this is how I like to store them. I just have a plastic baggie, and I'm gonna write what kind they are, so if your kids wanna go to the fridge or freezer and pull these out, they know what they're getting. It wouldn't be a bad idea to date them as well, if you're rotating through fat, uh, food quickly. And then the coconut almond. Okay, if you're gonna be eating them fairly quickly, a plastic baggie in the freezer is going to be fine. Or the fridge if you're gonna be eating them within the next three to four days. Um, if you want them to last longer in your freezer, you can go ahead and double wrap them. We'll just keep the, as much air out as possible. Air and moisture is what causes things to um, lose the freshness faster. Seal it up nice and tight. Okay, so that's one way, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just bag up the other ones. Okay, friends, there you have it. Uh, I hope this was a helpful tutorial. I hope you'll try these out and give me some feedback. Let me know how it worked out for you, especially if you have different combinations. I'd love to hear your ideas, but most importantly, I hope you're just staying safe and healthy out there. Make sure to wash your hands and sanitize, um, and hopefully that we can just get through this.